Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to visit the uh, desktop CNC again. So, have done a couple things since the last time we visited, and we did the first cuts with the wood. So, as mentioned, I did swap these out. So, here is the original rail that came with it that was on the side here, and you can see how much I've extended it. So, this rail, the original one was, uh, what, about 25 centimeters long, about 255, 250 millimeters long. And I've replaced it with these uh, that are about 15 inches or about uh, roughly 380 millimeters long. Now, I didn't have to quite go this long. However, I already had these cut for another project, and if I want to swap them back out to that project, I didn't want to cut them again. So this was fine. I can mount this back. This also gives me the ability to add another 90 here and here and on the back for extra rigidity. Really doesn't need it, but if I wanted to do that, I could do that. Now, what I did do here is I did set... Sorry for bumping you guys. It's kind of hard working around a tripod. So I sat, I sat these back about 3 inches from where they were now. You can see that this bed clearly goes back past this bit. Now, as I run it forward under manual control, you'll, you'll see as it comes forward, I can get now a whole 100 millimeters of travel in this. So I actually, I can go a little bit past this bed. I'm actually thinking about um, making a new sort of sacrificial bed to go on top of here for, for mounting. And especially since I got such clearance here, I'm thinking about doing it. So you see how far that's going. And you can see clearly here, I'm, I'm, I'm past, I am about, I'm about one centimeter. So I can pick up about 20 millimeters on this. So I can go up to about 100 millimeters of travel on this bed now. And I can probably get pretty close likewise. So, so I can probably get up to about 100 by 100 uh, millimeters or about 10, I think, uh, be about, 10 by 10 centimeters uh, big so I probably get a, a, a cut area effectively that big um, you know because right now it's a little bit shorter about eight eight centimeters by about um, I think 10 on this axis so uh, anyways uh, real happy so far with this this addition and it all, all it did is cost me a couple of extra rods the other piece that um, I'm going to do is I found uh, a 24, a 12-24 volt power supply, and I'm going to actually get it to replace the two power bricks that go on here, and then, then on either the laser or the bigger CNC, I'm going to machine out a new back in the power supply, which isn't that big. We'll mount back here and power all this, and, and then I want to build the handle here, so it's all one self-contained unit, and I can just pick it up and carry it, and that's sort of my idea with this project. Second piece that I, I'd like to get to today is uh, actually I want to. I've got a piece of acrylic set up here, three millimeter piece of acrylic, and I want to go ahead and cut that out. I've got a two flute uh, bit in here. I'm going to run it out at about 30 millimeters a second, so I'm going to run a little bit faster. Uh, I did try uh, cutting it with the uh, bit, I same bit I'd used the wood, which is a bad mistake. I've done this before, and it just melts it and it makes a mess and breaks. Uh, so I did switch to my two flute, which is what I typically use. If you look back in the um, CNC playlist, this is what I typically use to cut lighter plastic, and then I make it move faster. So I'm going to go ahead, and then I'm going to get this set up, and so then we're going to jump into a time lapse, and then we'll come back to the bench and see how it cut out acrylic. Okay, here we are back with the results. So, uh, even running at 30 millimeters a second, uh, still had a lot of melting on. And you can see on here too, and I'll zoom in on the on the truck. You can see I got a pretty big build up here. Um, I think I could probably go a little bit faster. There is a lot of heat in the uh, in the acrylic itself, and you can see here that instead of actually pushing through, it actually melted it down instead of. Uh, pushing all the way through so I'm gonna have to do some work on feeds and speeds here um, 
because at, at first I did get chipping so I was actually encouraged by that and especially chipping outside of the circle but when it got to this outer piece the heat just started again melting the acrylic so I'm gonna have to try a little bit faster speed I think I'm gonna go um, do a couple more tests maybe at 40 or even 50 millimeters uh, a second get the speed up there I might actually even have to knock down and I hate to do it uh, because I'm at a quarter of a millimeter now uh, cut depth I might have to knock that down a little bit too um, to get it to chip and move faster through this uh, so it doesn't have the heat build up because this bit on my bigger machine actually even cuts down to ABS um, and, and polystyrene pretty good uh, the only thing I'm worried about with a little bit faster speed is actually what's going to happen uh, with regards to some of the lateral torque on this uh, I don't know if you could see it, but in, and I will have, you know, dubbed out the audio on it, but you could hear the, the motor torque as it made, made the corners, the radiuses here, you know, as it was coming into the material, because obviously more surface area was hitting the material uh, at that point. So, uh, but I mean, there's no question that this will, will cut it. It's just getting the right feeds and speeds for this uh, spindle. Now, I can tell you it's a little bit warmer than when it did the wood. I mean, it's, it's definitely not hot. I can hold my hand on here. I can just tell you it warmed up a little bit. Uh, you know, so cutting through the acrylic took a little bit more. Um, so, uh, anyways, um, hopefully you follow along. And as I kind of work out the bugs of this, I'll share it with you guys out there, too. So, uh, anyways, hey, if you found this interesting you want to see more, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget the swag shop up in the corner. Subscribe button will be coming if you're already a subscriber. Thank you much, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.